Hello, and welcome to Drafty. In this video we are going to take a basic look at adding and editing lights in a drawing. Ready? Good. Let's begin. Start by navigating to the upper right hand corner of the drawing. Press the L key to make a light. You can see how we not only add a light to our drawing, but an instance of that light is automatically added to our symbol key. We can change the category from ERS to PAR, Fresnel, Mover, and so forth. Type provides access to all standard manufacturers within each category. Flavor gives you control over features such as barrel type, and you can change the wattage of a light. Different wattages render differently on the screen for clear visual impact. Press the P key to make a pipe. Add a light to the pipe, and auto numbering works by default. Press the D key to duplicate. If you change this 36 degree to a 50, the 50 degree adds to the symbol key, changing this one to a 14, adds it above the 36 keeping everything in order, from long throw, to medium, to short throw. Select your lights and then enter channel number in the contextual menu, entering a start number and plus will increment the channel number based on your selection order, adding 1, plus 10, for example, will increment by tens. Tab over to enter purpose information. Now tab over to color, and enter gel numbers here, and dimmer information works just like channel numbering. When you enter template information, a small t is rendered in the nose of the light, to indicate that this unit has template information. Dragging a light along a pipe snaps to 3 inch spacing, to keep your drawing organized. You can show or hide the purpose of a light. To rotate the lights, hold down shift and use the left and right arrow keys, to rotate along the clamp point at 45 degree increments. When pointed like side lights, all of the metadata organizes itself for clear readability. Exploring the layout tools you can organize all the metadata to render cleanly on your drawing. You add a device, in this case a scroller, by pressing the device add button. Drafty offers a wide array of scrollers, iris, mirrors, top hats, and more. Pressing shift L adds a par. Add barn doors by selecting a static device. You can slide the device along the main axis of the light. Notice how the symbol key updates in real time while you work. It's like spell check for drafting. Use the key field to rename any objects you added, and that change will propagate in the symbol key in the database manager. You can change the stroke color of any light, make your drawing a rainbow, or use shades of gray. Drafty offers you a variety of symbol libraries to choose from, including, soft symbols by field template, specifically designed for the Drafty environment. When you change libraries, every light in the drawing is automatically converted to the new library. Use the ghost feature to take a light out of the symbol key and unit numbering to indicate an unused fixture. Perhaps work lights, or unused repertory lights. You may show or hide dimmer information with a simple button click. If you have the same fixture in different wattages, the discrete graphic styles allow for quick, easy, and clear reading of your drawings. Our symbols are designed to conform to contemporary USITT and ABTT graphic standards. Multi-cell fixtures work very similarly to standard lights. Pressing Option in L gives us a psych light, 
Each cell can be discreetly edited, so Drafty treats strip lights as they are, a single physical fixture with multiple dimming inputs. Note also, how the channel circle expands to allow for larger numbers. Happy drafting!